Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is A can do a job in 8 days and B in 12 days. They work together for 4 days. The remaining work is completed by C in 3 days. In how many days C alone can do the work? So what's the question given? A can do a piece of work in 8 days and B can do the same piece of work in 12 days and A and B are working together for 4 days. They are working together for 4 days and the remaining work will be finished by C in 3 days. So whatever be the remaining work it is done by C and C is finishing it, is, it in 3 days. So how many days will C take if he is working alone? So let me explain the question once more. A is taking 8 days to complete a work and B is taking 12 days to complete the work. A and B are working together for 4 days and they are completing some portion of the work. Whatever they are able to complete, they are completing within 4 days. And the remaining work is done by C. And C is completing that work in 3 days. Then how much time will C take if he is working alone? So using the chocolate approach, the number of chocolates will be equal to the amount of work to be finished. And we have to take the number of chocolates as the LCM of 8 and 12. So it will be equal to 24. So whatever be the data given, here A is taking 8 days and B is taking 12 days. So we have to take the LCM of 8 and 12 as the number of chocolates. So it is equal to 24. Now we have to find out how many chocolates are consumed by A and B per day. So A is taking 8 days to complete the work. And the work is 24 chocolates. So A will be having 24 by 8 is equal to 3 chocolates per day. And B will be taking... 12 days to complete the work. So B will be having 24 by 12 is equal to 2 chocolates per day. So we will be getting A plus B together will be having 5 chocolates per day. So A and B are working together for 4 days. So one day they are having 5 chocolates. So within 4 days A and B will be able to consume 5 into 4 is equal to 20 chocolates. The 20 chocolates will be finished by A and B. So how many chocolates will be remaining? Total number of chocolates is equal to 24. So number of chocolates remaining will be equal to 4. So now C is completing the remaining work in 3 days. So that means C is completing these 4 chocolates. C is completing 4 chocolates in 3 days. So how much time will C take to finish the work alone? So how much time will C take to finish the 24 chocolates? If he is taking 3 days to complete 4 chocolates, then how much time will he take to complete the 24 chocolates. That's a question given. So what will be your answer? 4 chocolates in 3 days. Then 24 chocolates in how many days? So 4 into 6 is 24. So again we have to multiply 3 also by 6. So our answer will be 18 days. Now example number 2. A can do a piece of work in 60 days and B in 40 days. Both work together for 30 days. After that A leaves. How long will B take to finish twice the work? So similar kind of question. A is doing a piece of work in 60 days and B is doing a piece of work in 40 days and A and B are working together for 30 days and after that A just leaves. So B has to finish twice the work. So how much time will B take to finish twice the work? So that's a question. So using the chocolate approach, we have to take the total number of Chocolates will be equal to the work to be finished and number of chocolates should be equal to the LCM or the lowest common multiple of 60 and 40 since 60 and 40 is the number of days taken by A and B. The so number of chocolates will be equal to 120. 120 is the LCM of 60 and 40. Now we can find out the number of chocolates consumed by A and B per day. So A is taking 60 days to finish the work. So A will be having 120 by 60 is equal to 2 chocolates per day. And B will be having 120 by 40. The total number of chocolates is 120. And B is taking 40 days to finish 120 chocolates. So B will be taking 120 by 40 is equal to 3 chocolates per day. So the total number of chocolates taken by A and B together is equal to 5 chocolates per day. So A and B will be together having 5 chocolates per day and they are working together for 30 days. So within 30 days A and B will be having, one day they are having 5 chocolates. So within 30 days they will be having 30 into 5 is equal to 150 chocolates. So what's the question? 
how much time will be alone take to finish twice the work so actually twice the work is to be finished so the total number of chocolates to be finished will be equal to 240 so 240 is the number of chocolates so a is leaving after 30 days and b has to finish the remaining work alone so how many chocolates will be remaining 240 minus 150 within 30 days a and b are consuming 150 chocolates and 240 is the number of chocolates since it is given twice the work. They have to finish twice the work. The 240 chocolates are the total number of chocolates and 150 chocolates have been finished. So the number of chocolates remaining is equal to 240 minus 150 is equal to 90. So number of days taken by B to finish this 90 chocolates will be given by 90 chocolates and B is having 3 chocolates per day. So, the total number of days taken by B will be equal to 90 divided by 3 is equal to 30 days. Thank you for watching.